And I've actually bought a few printables recently. Like a lot of people okay. ask, like, do people actually even buy printable wall art? Like, why wouldn't you just go to the shop and buy something that's already framed? And sure. actually I bought four pieces of printable wall art from a specific shop that I wanted to decorate my nursery with. And there's a couple of reasons for this because first I wanted to pick my frames. I wanted to customize exactly what I, mm. oh, and I got to pick the size of the wall art too. Okay. Um, you know, whether I wanted like a 16 by 20 or 12 by 18, but also I love the feeling of supporting other shops. And mm. the reason I say this kind of helps you pick your niche is a lot of the time we pick a niche that we resonate with and our target audience is kind of either us or someone that we have identified as in the past. Yes. So I find that a lot of these shops that sell, you know, nursery printable wall art or fun educational printables for kids, they're also parents, you know, or they look after kids themselves. So they know what their target audience is looking for. So I find that the printables that I buy, it's usually by parents that have created these stores. And I love also supporting them. So that's another reason too, that I find a lot of people shop on Etsy. They want to support people that they uh, resonate with. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. That's, that, that's great to hear uh, these questions asked. Cause I, I found myself, that, you know, asking those questions as well. Do people really buy printable wall art? I mean, we have, you know, cause we have a friend that has some pretty stellar, you know, prints and posters and we have them cause he makes like kind of funny bathroom poster. Design, yeah. Right. Funny. They're really funny. That. And they kind of, they kind of join things that you wouldn't think together, you know, like, and that's what makes it funny. And so, you know, they're like $5 a piece, just had them printed out, you know, right down the, the way at Staples or whatever for, you know, eight, $9 a pop or whatever. So then we got to choose our own, uh, you're right. You get to choose your own frame. Didn't think about that that way. So, I mean, it's really nice hearing people ask, like, do people actually buy printables and then having reasons as to why someone would, and more than just like, because you can like, you know, because you can print it yourself. I don't think that's like the best answer, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get this question a lot. Like there's a lot of, I hate to say pessimists that just say like, I like, what's the point of creating this? Am I wasting my time mm. and all of that? But I've been there and, too. Know, yeah. And fair enough. Yeah. No, I remember even when I first started, I did not think that what I, I thought I was wasting my time truly. And when I mm. got my first sale, I was like, oh my gosh, this actually does work. And it was so lovely to see people sending me photos of them framing their wall art. Ah, uh, yeah. Because like, you know, and because again, they get to customize it. And size is also really important. I actually created a recent video as well, where you want to create multiple sizes within each piece so that you allow your customers to customize, you know, how big they want it, where they want to like display it, whether it's on their desk or on their wall. So yeah, just kind of giving your customers a lot of options on how to use your wall art. That's another thing too. So 